this is juicy. Wow. Oh. Yo, yo, yo. Okay. Hi, everyone. Uh, you're going to laugh at me, but I wasn't recording just now. I recorded most of a video and it wasn't recording. So for those who are curious as to how often that happens, it doesn't happen often, but it happened just then. I think this label up here of Rookie Voyager is probably quite spot on. Um, welcome back anyway. I did promise a Geodetective video uh, around about now, but the Geodetective video that I'm making is proving quite tricky, which is good because I wanted a challenge. I was due one. This is going to drive me insane. I thought I'd revisit this instead because I had such good fun on this map last time, two weeks ago, uh, and I think there's plenty of uh, fascinating things to learn about here on this map. Uh, catastrophes, environmental disasters, natural disasters, floods, massacres, deaths, basically. So we're going to give this another go. We're going to see where it is we end up this time and see if we can figure out where it is and what it was that went so terribly, terribly wrong. That is the plan. Geodetective because I'm on my honeymoon right now as we speak. Thank you. Uh, wedding was perfect, by the way. Couldn't have gone better. Um, because of that, the Geo Detective will be on hold and you'll have two or three videos that will be scheduled for the next couple of weeks uh, that will be fairly casual, as this one is. Here we go. Uh, let's start this game and uh, prepare to be fascinated. Wow. Okay, starting things off here, we have another bridge, over there at least. Um, oh, this is Britain. I can tell straight away by these houses. I'd say that's Scotland actually, almost definitely. Uh, we may be wrong, um, but let's look here. We, we are, we're crossing, oh, this is obviously a very famous place. Where could this be? Hmm. Huh. We're crossing a big estuary like the Tay or the Firth or something along those lines, but we've got a big town over there. Big, big town with sort of oil links to the north. Yeah, to the North Sea. You know, it's definitely Scotland. Um, yeah, I'm just going to have to go into the map and find out. We've got. It's going to be really, really easy to find. That. I would say is the open sea. I think we're on the east coast and then that is going inland. So this should take us seconds to find. It's, it's Dundee, isn't it? Yeah, it's Dundee. Told you it'd take seconds. Um, so we're on the Tay Road Bridge here because that's obviously going into Dundee shitty center, city centre. Um, and then, yeah, look at the... I didn't realise there were such big hills that were part of Dundee. That's pretty cool. You're looking at that one there. Um, hills, I think, always... They can make for some rough estates. They do in Swansea. Town Hill's pretty rough in Swansea. Uh, anyway, this is where we are. But, you know, what the hell happened here on this bridge? Um, did some of the locals escape? I mean, we'll have to find out. But... Yeah, let's get in there and put ourselves down. That was a joke, of course. You can't, it's hard to joke on these because obviously something awful happened here. So, yeah, but I think we're probably about there. Oh, oh wow, we were... Oh, that's annoying. I don't know what was going on there, but I, I thought we were further from the city. But we were actually closer to the city lost a point many of you will not have lost that point um, so we've done it we've done that round but we've got to find out now by googling as we had to do last week what actually happened because as I've learned it's quite rare that I'm gonna know what actually happened I'm, clearly my disaster knowledge isn't great um, ah this is obviously from the um, video that I didn't film this was fascinating I won't talk about it 
much, but basically a dam collapsed in Italy and about 3,000 people died and a tsunami came spilling over the dam that was 250 metres tall. That's how big the dam is that tall, but then the wave on top of it was as well, which is just incredible and awful. But um, right, here we go. There's a little bonus tragedy that's thrown in. Um, thanks to my carelessness. The Tay Bridge disaster. This feels like something I should know. Really. Um, that is the original Tay Bridge. And the disaster occurred during a violent storm in 1879, just after Christmas, when the first Tay Rail Bridge collapsed. And of course, a train was passing over it, just about to, to arrive at its destination of Dundee. So it was metres away. And all people on board were killed. God, I bet they were. I bet they were. That is awful. Storm was as bad as any they'd seen. Someone called it a hurricane. 80 mile an hour wind. Wow. So the wind was blowing the train in such a way that the wheels were making an incredible amount of sparks um, rubbing against the tracks. A man in the signal cabin witnessed a sudden bright flash of light when the train was on the middle of the bridge and then total darkness. No lamps, no sparks, everything disappearing at the same time. And then the train was never seen again. Not only was it in the river, which is basically the sea, but so was much of the girders and the ironwork of the bridge. 46 bodies were recovered out of 59 known victims. 75 people were believed to have been on the train. Yeah, it's a bit like the one in Florida, isn't it? Awful. Don't know how that must have been for the people on that train, but um, the water would have been freezing and would have been a, a an icy... Well, they would have drowned, probably. Uh, lovely. On the plus side, we've got a decent score to be um, sending us on our way. Hopes of a perfect score were, well, it's, it's almost impossible on this map because of this. Rounds like this where we just have no idea where we are and no idea what happened here, neither. Um, and it's going to be one where, well, it's going to actually, it could embarrass me really because my GeoGuessr skills at the moment are pretty bad it's been a while so I've got to make sure I don't embarrass myself um, where are we this is this is very far north I would say that it's America based on these road markings and I have no idea what happened here it's quite foggy I mean could we be in Alaska I don't think so I think we're more likely Minnesota or something or Wisconsin no I'm gonna go Minnesota because it looks like it could be getting towards the plains I don't know but what happened we have no idea we'll have to find out once we've made our guess but for now I'm just gonna go I don't know maybe we can find a town name that has an ominous air about it and then pick that. Black duck. Yeah, let's say that there was a menacing black duck that, you know, ravaged the area. Uh, yeah, I'll go there. Ah, oh, why did I do that? Why didn't I consider that that could be Canada? Why was it Alaska or America? That's so stupid. 752 points. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Uh, we're on the Yellowhead Highway in, uh, well, that'll be, uh, that's still British Columbia. And we're in between um, Telqua and Houston. And we've got to Google this, but we've got to find out, I mean, what, what could go wrong in such a remote area? I've got to know. Uh, yeah, this could be it. Highway 16. This highway, apparently a long stretch of it, has been the location of crimes against many missing and murdered indigenous women 
beginning in 1970. I don't know if this is what the tragedy is. I mean, it's a tragic situation. Lots of indigenous women um, going missing, possibly because of poverty, drug abuse, domestic violence, but it's not really a pinned down, you know, disaster or tragedy. Yeah, I, I'm not sure, guys, if this is what they meant to put in. <clears throat> but it it does have a tragic backstory. So yeah, it, it I need to get this idea of a one event out of my head. It has a tragic or disturbing backstory. A hundred or so women have disappeared on this road. Possibly linked, possibly not. But either way, it's tragic. Um, if I've got this all wrong, let me know. But uh, yeah, I think it's this Highway of Tears. Apparently there's a documentary on that, a 2014 80 minute doc. I love a good documentary, so I will try and watch that. But we'll move on from that awful score. Right, we are now in France, it looks like. Yeah, I think so, almost definitely. It's quite a French church over there. We've got, doesn't look like a bell, uh, this can't be Belgium anyway. This can really only be France, to be honest. And that is a, per uh, not a Peugeot, a Citroen. That is either a Peugeot or a Citroen or a Renault. And I'll be damned if those aren't either. Uh, and that over there, yeah, we're in France. And I would say mid to South France. I'm not gonna have a clue what happened here. I don't think it will be World War anything no it could be i don't think it's going to be world war one but this could be something that happened in world war two although i don't know how far the germans sort of needed to go down really and commit like they'd surrendered but we'll see um i'm gonna just do as good a guess as i can muster based on uh the the looks and the vibe of the place but um, yeah, I, obviously I've, I'm not going to, I haven't got a clue what went down here. So I'm just going to go, I'll, I won't go too far from, yeah, I'll, maybe I'll go around here somewhere. Vusak. Target. Let's go target. Someone was shot. Uh, let's, <laughs> let's predict that. Okay, right. So it's much further west, but latitude was almost completely perfect now we're in the Parc Natural Regional du Marais Poitevin and we're in a place called Mail Mail let's let's google it wartime tragedy on river no 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 can't be it ooh this is it isn't it there's a couple there was a boating disaster there somewhere the village of Mail was home to just over 500 inhabitants at the start of World War II. Here we go. The German arrival sent shockwaves through this peaceful rural village. There was a massacre. A major resistance network, the Pien network, or Pian, developed here in 1944 or earlier. And in 1944, the cover was blown. The network was dismantled and most of its members were deported. In August 44, soldiers from the Wehrmacht surrounded the village and basically they went from house to house, killing men, women, children and babies and setting everything on fire. Even the animals were slain. Wow. The gunfire lasted an hour and a half. What a long time. The total number of victims was 124. Horrendous. There was beginning to lose the war at this point remember so maybe frustration on the part of the of those higher up played a part i don't know there it is very far west in france as well incredible score not amazing again next up we have this one and it looks like we're in the states or canada Let's have a look here. I 
thought we might have had a whiff of a Floridian number plate there, but no, I don't think so. I don't think this is Florida. I think it's... Oh, we do have a palm tree over there. Who knows, man? Texas Ave and Bay Street. So this could be Texas. Ah, oh, Tom, can you actually... I mean, it, would it be too much to ask to have heard of one of these disasters? Texas. What? What? What's happened in Texas? Is this even Texas? I'm not sure. I'm going to say that it is. Bay Street, Texas Ave. This is the penultimate round, ladies and gents. There we have Trinity Bay over here. Tra yeah, we could be down here. Bay Area Boulevard. It's just a, it's just guessing, but I'm happy to click around here and see what happens. Bay Town. Amelia Earhart. Interesting, is that where she was from? Who knows? I won't spend any more time messing around there. It's a bloody good guess. That's a great one. That's made up for the early ones. Um, yeah, just down the road, 19 miles. Not that, not that close, I guess, but I could have found that if I'd have spent enough time. But what happened here? Can we just try and find this out just by looking? What's that? That could be an old bridge that collapsed. Texas Dyke Road. Why would they build that huge Texas City Dyke? No, because this is where the disaster happened. Okay. This offers a hint. Um, Eastman Chemical Texas City Inc. I am going to go out on a limb and say that there was another chemical disaster that happened in the 1920s. Texas City, never heard of that by the way. Texas City disaster, 1947, here we go. Oh, this is juicy. Wow, whoa. This is the deadliest industrial accident in US history and one of history's largest non-nuclear explosions. Triggered by a mid-morning fire on board the French registered vessel SS Grand Camp, Dr. Port, which detonated her cargo of about 2,300 tonnes of ammonium nitrate, this started a chain reaction of fires and explosions aboard other ships and in nearby oil storage facilities, killing ultimately at least 581 people, including all but one member of Texas City's volunteer fire department. Shit. Imagine being that last guy. Oh my God, I'd have been handing in my notice pretty swiftly um not that not that he was paid a penny for that uh scarring event so the main explosion was that that ship's ammonium nitrate a blast from the main explosion produced a shockwave that leveled nearly a thousand buildings on land among the buildings destroyed was a monsanto chemical company plant killing 145 of its 450 workers. Ah, uh, it's just uh, an insane series of explosions, this is. Cool. Last one. Last one, man. Come on, give me something that I know. It's not going to be, is it? It's not going to be one. The good news is we can play this many more times and... Uh, you know, discover many, many more disasters and rounds, but yeah, I'm really enjoying doing so for now. Um, this seems to be Portugal. OK, 
because we've got. Ooh, I don't know. No, no, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Sun is in the south, so yeah. For some reason in my head, I thought that was a Spanish word, uh, a, a Portuguese word, but it could well be Spanish. We do. Okay, no, I think that is a Portuguese number plate, so I think I was right. Could it be where Madeleine McCann was dumped? No, because she hasn't been found. Um, plus, is that really as tragic as hundreds of people dying? No. Uh, despite what the media leads you to believe. Don't get me wrong. Oh, why have I gone down this route? Anyway, I'm searching in the south of Portugal. I haven't got a clue what happened. We're going to have to find out. I'm going to go a bit further north and go there. And it is Spain, of course. It is Spain and it's northwest of Seville. I'm not going to say all of these things. They're too long and probably not relevant. Um, Asnal Calar. Asnal Calar. This could be another dam, to be fair, because we do have a reservoir up there. So I do think if I type in Asnal Kalar, we will get this. I think it's a dam again. Asnal Kalar mine disaster. Wrong, Tom. Ah, but it is sort of a dam bursting. Yeah, it is. Correct, Tom. Here we go. This is... Oh, God, this... I can already tell this is going to be awful. In 1998, in Andalusia, a dam holding four to five million cubic meters of mine tailings, acidic mine tailings, which is leftover materials, remnants of ore and waste, containing dangerous levels of several heavy metals like zinc, uh, and etc., etc., uh, flowed. All I can see right now is that it all flowed into the local rivers, which is obviously awful. Um, but I don't know if anyone died as a direct result. <laughs> They've said here nothing survived um, in, in, in the environment. It actually led to a chain of serious environmental issues in the Andalusia region. Uh, you know, habitats and infrastructures decimated. 25 tons of dead fish were collected. Um, thousands of birds, chicks, eggs and nests were destroyed. That is awful. Hundreds of millions of euros were spent. But I can't see anyone that died. How disappointing for the context of this video. Ah. Uh, now, nah, I'm glad no one died. Uh, that is, in a way, equally as interesting because even though no one died, it's mad to think of such a huge amount of crap that flowed out. Whoever's responsible for that should hang their head in shame. And that concludes this week's little play along video. Uh, 18,811, I think was better than last week, but I'm not sure. Let me know what score you got by playing along and if you had heard of any of those disasters. We had a real range of things there, didn't we? From missing people, to explosions, to dams, to bridges, to World War II massacres. Uh, it had it all. Really interesting. These are just educational videos, really. It's not really about the geography, although that is entwined. Um, so yeah, let me know if you enjoy this. I'm definitely going to do another one. I hadn't actually heard of any of those this week, whereas the week before I had, but I'm gonna keep going with this until we get some really juicy ones like Joseph Fritzl or something. If he's in there, I think he deserves to be, but there you go. See you soon for another installment of Geography Fun. Take care, everyone.